What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Ninja Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, so we're definitely getting a Hal and Jon Stewart Green Lantern series on HBO. So this is serious. We already heard, we already have a conversation on who's in the writer's room. This is a big deal. We have rumors of uh, possibilities of who Hal Jordan could be. We haven't heard too much about who John uh, Stewart will be, although there are some names being thrown out there and we have our list. Brian has his list for both John and, and Hal Jordan, and I have mine for John Stewart and Hal Jordan. So let's go through the list. I'll be surprised if we come up with the same ones, Brian. <laughs> I think so too. Hal. John, I think we may have one in common. Oh, interesting. I don't May. think so. I don't think so, but we'll see. Really? All right. So let's go. You go one for John, and I'll go one so, for... How do you want to do it to make it interesting? You do one John, and I do one how, and if your John is the same one as I, sure. as mine, we... All right. All right. We'll do it. We'll do crisscross. So this all got hatched because of this, this wild Tom Cruise rumor that's gone around that his new deal for working with Warner Brothers Studios, it may involve him taking on the role of Hal Jordan, uh, an older Hal Jordan, which James Gunn has noted. It sounds like we're getting a younger Jon Stewart and an older Hal Jordan. We don't know mm -hmm. exactly what age range they would be in. I will say that I made my choices with that in mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My Johns are all younger than all of my Hal's. Wow, um, I have one that's pretty, a little I, bit I, too when, old. I, I'm trusting Gunn on that. Um, so I, all of my Johns are in their 30s and all of my Hal's are in their 50s. That's That was my arbitrary choice for okay. actors. Doesn't mean okay. the characters will be, but the actors, obviously, that's, that's okay. kind of where I'm at. And I, I, you know, I didn't, I ruled out Cruz. I was like, I still think it's a very long shot, so I don't have him on the list. I have him on my list, so I'll okay. just throw it out there. All right, so I'll lead off with a John, I guess, and then you can come back with a Hal. Okay. Um, so mine are kind of all over the map and off the board. Some people probably will ridicule the choice, but that's fine. I'm going to lead off with Lionel Boyce, who plays Marcus on the bear he's the dessert chef yeah yeah on the bear yeah, yeah i think the reason i like it and i'm again i'm not worried about body types because everyone can get with a trainer Certainly. and and look how they need to look for these players. yeah i'm focused on more that like he is like sort of a commanding physical presence Certain. I like that he has emotional range. Like mm -hmm. he has sort of a softer side, but then he can have an edge. Mm -hmm. He can do drama. The show requires him to kind of have that dramatic side. For some reason, I just, when I look at, when I stare at him on the show, I'm like, I can see him in the suit. I can see him like, look, like filling out the suit in a way, or if you want to even give him a, if you want to give him sort of some facial hair um, for, for Jon Stewart in the way that he was in sort of the Justice League Unlimited look. That's a guy that I think people aren't talking about. He's a TV actor, so I think he's gettable. Um, oh, certainly. He's, I believe, 32, so I think he's in the perfect age range. Okay. Um, and I think it would just be it would be something where you have no association with him as an action star or a, another comic book character, mm -hmm. so he comes in with no baggage. So Lionel Boyce, my first nominee for Jon Stewart. Okay. Uh, for how... Jordan, Brian, he's, this guy's been one of my top picks for a long time. If they ever decided to go that route and, uh, he can still play it. And they're, if they're looking for an older, uh, Hal Jordan, I think this guy would be it. That's Bradley Cooper. Yeah, I agree. I, I this is, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just easy. It's just easy for him to play that role. He, if you ever saw the 18, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, he, he played that role perfectly. There's non, um, fearing, you know, he's wild and, 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 and what he's ready to, to, to take it, to take whatever, uh, risks necessary to get the job done. And he has that, uh, that sort of, uh, charisma for, uh, Hal Jordan that's, uh, seasoned. And he would be perfect, I think. Yeah, I, I think I can't disagree. I didn't put him on my list. I I feel like he fancies himself too much of an artiste. Yeah, nowadays, the right. Role these days. But I agree that like if you know when I thought about Hal's, I think you were thinking about the same thing. The Hal that I think of is cocky. 
is brash. Kind of has got some a-hole in him sometimes, even <laughs> though he is a hero uh, and can be humbled. So yeah. I think you do need an actor who who has that edge. Yeah. An actor who typically plays soft is not going to work, I think, in the role, especially if it's an older Hal dealing with maybe even mentoring or quasi-mentoring a younger John. I think there's got to be some tough love in there. So I kind of agree. And Cooper physically looks the part with the blue eyes, you know, and sort of blondish hair. So you will be surprised at my, my next one, but go ahead. So, all right. So <laughs> then I'll, all right. So I'll, I'll come back at you with a how. I, if we can get Bradley Cooper, let's put it this way. Let's take the pipe dream one step further. If So if they do get like Bradley Cooper as, as how, I mean, like, again, similar to Tom Cruise, this show is a much bigger deal. I don't yeah, think it's yeah, happening, yeah. but that's a much bigger deal than any of the guys on my list, in fairness. Um, for, I'll give you a how, and then you can give me a, a John. Yep. I'm going to stay in the HBO house. Um, I'm going to nominate Nikolai Coster waldau Jamie Lannister, as a possible how. Okay. I think because Jamie has... Be a, a young Sean Bean. Go ahead. But Jamie certainly has the, the cockiness, the ego, yeah. the wit, sort of the... But... There's shreds of nobility in there too, even in the Lannister character, which obviously he'd be turning up mm-hmm. in this one. I think he's got the look. He's 53 years old, you know, kind of blondish. You know, he is European. He would have to kind of manipulate the accent a little bit to be an American pilot, but look, he's good. He's more than good enough actor to do that. So I'll throw out Nikolai Costa. And again, he's worked for HBO before. So I always think that if you want to try to sign the guy, that that might that might help. So that's my first sort of HAL nomination. For me, John Stewart, I have to go with Sterling K. Brown. <laughs> he's just the obvious. For me, he's just the, the obvious choice. He can definitely play the part. He can definitely play that general. He has crazy amounts of range, and I just think he would be perfect for it. I can't disagree. Again, if they if they're if they want a young John, then that's probably the only disqualifying thing for him. Is yeah. I mean, he's close to fifty himself, even though he yeah. doesn't look it. Yeah. Um, but as a dramatic actor um, and sort of having having the look and sort of, you know, if I think you, you can get three films out of him or four and, and, and oh, he, no he'll, question. And he'll still no be question. looking yeah. the part. No question. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if you're getting Bradley Cooper and Sterling K. Brown, like you're <laughs> the show's a big freaking deal. Yeah. And they're, they're both gunning to get Emmys, right? Yeah. Basically. So, I mean, that's a whole different type of show. So, I mean, your, your show is more expensive and higher profile than I think yeah. mine is going to be, but... But I mean, I love the again. If they can do it, that w- that would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, my other two guys are far less known. Um, maybe this, somebody, who, who you gonna give me, John? Or? I'll give you a second, John. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, a mu- like this is going even younger. People probably don't even know him that well. But Damson Edris, who oh, I think people, Snow uh, Snowfall. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowfall. He's the latest yeah, okay, victim good. of. You Lori. actually know him, yeah. Yeah, he's the uh, latest victim of Laurie Harvey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So and who will who will blow up next summer as what looks to be like the Lewis Hamilton equivalent in the F one movie for uh, for Joe Kaczynski. But I'll say this, Brian. I think I like him more for Black Panther, and he's been rumored to possibly take okay. on that role. Uh, I I think he's too young, too young. He looks now he's thirty, but he looks like he's twenty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just looks so like if you're going young, and he would need to bulk up. He's pretty small. So like yeah. you would need this is young. I give him Miles Morales. Yeah, this is like <laughs> oh it's, okay. This is young. All right, so you're not as big a fan of that one. Okay. Nah. Um, for how Brian Patrick Dempsey. Patrick Dempsey did not see that coming. Okay. Yeah. Talk me into it. He. Uh, well, I love them and can't buy me love. I think he has that emotional range, but I know you don't. He needs the reason why I think. It will be an interesting choice is because of the roles he's played. This will be a very sort of different sort of role for him to have to play the the not the dream boat or anything like that, but more of a cocky dude. So it'll be a different role for him and it'll be an interesting role for him to play. And he's an older and he still can look like an Hal Jordan, like an older seasoned mm-hmm. Hal Jordan. So I, I would Obviously, all of these guys will be tested. Like, you got to read for me. But <laughs> Patrick Dempsey is one, one of my choices. Do you think he... So here's my one. I'm, I'm just looking. He has a very distinctive face. Do you think the face holds up when you put the green mask over his eyes? I'm trying to imagine. Because he has, like, very distinctive hair. I guess they could redo the hair. 
but I'm just trying. That's the one piece. His his face. Is I hear so what you're different. saying. Yeah, he has more of a villain type of look. A little bit, a little more sinister than hero. I just yeah, I couldn't find an older dude that would fit the role of Hal Jordan other than Tom Cruise, Bradley Cooper. Um, because again, Hal Jordan, if he's seasoned and he's an older Hal Jordan, he's been a Green Lantern. We cannot not know this dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He cannot be an unknown dude. We got to know him, whoever he may be, Tom Cruise, whatever. We, all of us have to know him, who this person is. It can be an unknown. I agree with that. So... That's right, why well, I have I'll, these names. I'll, 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 I'll give you a second then on, okay. on Hal. What about Christian Slater? Does the voice, is the voice disqualified? Yes, yes the voice disqualifies him. Because I think the hair works. He's 54. He actually looks really good for 54, by the way. Um, you could easily make it blonde. He kind of was a pilot in Broken Arrow, right? <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> um, I don't know, but he also, to me... He's always been kind of a good character that when you have ego involved, when you have a little bit of little bit of, you know, sleaze and a little bit of edge, he always has been good at that. Yeah. Like being a I hero but not being him. clean cut. But you think the voice does the voice knock him out? Because he always sounds not, like Christmas later. Yeah, the 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 voice disqualifies him. Oh, okay. Rip. My John. Younger? Still a bit old. He's already, you know, he's a bit old still, but he's uh, still an up-and-comer. Um, Jay Ellis. Oh, yeah. Uh, from uh, Top Gun Maverick. He was yes. Uh, Coyote. Yes. I would want him, I would want to see see him play like the role that. or read for that role uh, of John Stewart. A different, you know. Uh, still, I don't want John Stewart's role to be... Because, again, he's a... Uh, sergeant or whatever right in the army right so i don't want him to be so young that i it wouldn't seem believable that he's moved up the ranks that that quickly to be this 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 sergeant you know what i'm saying so i would want this guy this this john stewart to be not super old but not too not too young that is not believable to me you know i like that one i like that one that's that that's a that's a good one and i think that's a gettable one too as we're talking about like people would recognize the face but it's not so famous that it's going to break the bank like i i like that one i like that mm -hmm. one um so my last my last john is um stefan james who is this, one of the stars of homecoming it's a uh, amazon series starring julia roberts about kind of soldiers coming home from the war mm -hmm. um he's only 30 uh, you can kind of Google him on on YouTube, but he's kind of got. I think he's got the dramatic chops. He would have to put on some some weight, but I think he's got the the muscle and the look for it. So he was sort of my third, probably the least known, maybe of the three. But if you were going to bet on sort of like a future, a futures bet on somebody, he might be. I think he could actually play the part. Okay. There were people talking about Trevor Rhodes, and he's the guy um, that was in Moonlight. Yeah, I haven't seen him in anything that show has showed him that he that has showed me that he has a lot of range, Brian. Uh, so I can't. Certainly, does he have the look? Yeah. Wait, is it Trevor or is it Trevanti? Trevanti, perhaps Trevanti. Yeah, I, mean, I know it's a T. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I know who you're talking about, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, that to me, I would again. He certainly has the look, but he would have to read for that. But I have somebody. He's too old. But why not? Bokeem Woodbine. Really? Yes. <laughs> I don't see that. I, I, see I watch John Halo. Stewart. I watch Halo faithfully, even that show, The Train Wreck. But like, as John Stewart, really? Okay, I'm not with that one. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm not with that I, one. I, I don't. I didn't look. I looked through a list, and he and there were they, those are the the only two that I saw that were good. Was Sterling King Brown, Jay Ellis, and him because of again, yeah, that that sergeant 
John Stewart that that yeah, he plays that, a good soldier. I'm not going to argue that point. That that's what I, I need a good soldier. I need a believable soldier. Yeah, I got to say that's actually I the one one that was floating around out there that I did not like was Boyega. I, I don't think oh, he, no, I no, don't no, think no, he's no, no, what no, you no. want in John. No. I see a lot of people say that, but I, it's not to me. It's not a good fit. Um, all right, so I'll give you my uh, my last how. Um, Josh Lucas. Again, Brian. Also in his fifth. You don't like the voice? His voice and... I think it's actually a good voice for Hal. I got to be honest. I think Lucas's voice would work. And he basically <laughs> plays a cocky hotshot pilot in stealth way back when. So if you want to see it, he's, that's him. It's not like, like when he if, he... if he... If you see him on screen, it's not like people are going to be like, oh, snap. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have that star power, I think. And I think Hal Jordan, Hal Jordan, Brian, okay, needs to have that star. Well, okay, I'm gonna it can't be no for, regular dude. I'm going to counter that for a second. I think okay. John, John is the lead of the show. Hal's the number two. And I think the reason why people are flipping it is because of the cruise rumor. But if it, if this show is a thirty something John and a fifty something Hal, I know they're going to say they're co leads, but I would argue that John John Stewart is the number one that they're going to be leading with on this show. And how's the, how's the Liam Neeson who's too old, but I'm just saying like, how's the, the complimentary mentor? Like that, that's what I, I, I think. I, it's gonna... I, I would love for it to be Tom Cruise. <laughs> the only other guy I could think of, um, who obviously is also in the Warner brothers family. And we may, might need to uh, jailbreak him out of his current comic book franchise was Patrick Wilson. Orm. <laughs> He could definitely look the part, for sure. I don't know that he could play it, but he definitely would look it. He wasn't he in Watch? He was the he Watchman, right? He was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Watchman he was, yeah. also in the A Team. Yeah, he's the bad guy in the A Team. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'd have to see these guys read. Yeah, see, to me, like I was also not going for like a step down from A list, like true A list, because I was like, I don't know if they're gonna get that for this show. Maybe they, I'm wrong, but like I, you know. Cruise, obviously, Cooper, like Sterling K. Brown, these guys are A list. Um, yeah, Tom Cruise and Bradley Cooper will be the guys that I would, because it's a season. That's it. I don't think they will come back. And how Jordan becomes a scepter at some point, nobody sees him. And he's, you know, <laughs> that could do whatever, you know? So, yeah, that would be the route that I would go. But, um, yeah, let us know in the comment section below what so you wait, guys your fa Okay, so so I liked your, I liked your Ellis uh -huh. best. Um, and I'll probably say I liked your Cooper. If they can get Cooper, I still think he's probably the best. Of all the people we named, he's probably the best overqualified and best able to do it. Yeah. On my list, who would you take if you had to? For, would, let me... So I had for, so for John, I had Lionel Boyce from The Bear, Damson Edris from, F, from F1 and Snowfall, Stefan James from Homecoming. For Hal, I had Nikolai Coster waldau uh, was that, ooh, Nikolai was Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, Christian Slater, and then Josh Lucas. Ryan, I'm sorry. I wouldn't take any of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's allowed. Yeah, I just don't see any of those guys as Hal Jordan. And I think Jon Stewart, that dude is too green. Although he could possibly be... Like, if, if I saw him reading, I'd be like, oh, I think he could do it. But at first glance, I don't know. I think Lionel Boyce is recognizable enough because the Bears a big enough phenomenon as a show. True, true, I, I true, think true. He's the guy that if you saw him, people would be like, "Oh, isn't that what's his face?" Like, I think he does have that at this point. I'd have to see him more, but out of all of them, that's the, one of the possibilities. I'd be like, "Yeah, I want to see him read for this for the role." But yo, I mean, those are those are. Um... Those are They're our different. choices. They're yeah. different than the same five names that everyone wants to recycle yeah. that are not happening on online. Sorry. Yeah. Like, you know. You didn't see Michael B. Jordan. No. <laughs> you, he's always on a list. I feel like I feel like my I think if 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 I was Michael B. Jordan, I would troll people and be, do like one of those like MTV cribs and take people in your closet and he has every single superhero costume on his on the <laughs> shelf. Because he gets rumored for 
every role. Yeah, yeah. So he should just have it made. He's like, here's my static shock. Here's my Superman. Here's my like. Here's my Val Zod. Here's my like <laughs> my Green Lantern. Just put one up and be like, yo, I, I'm I'm ready to do any of these. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, let us know in the comment section below who would be your choices for John Stewart. Name one for John Stewart and name one for how do you agree with one of ours? Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think. And try to name people that are realistic. Like, you know, I'm sorry. Like, you know, don't say Denzel. Like, don't say somebody that like it's not gonna it's not gonna happen. It's too expensive. Yeah. The person's way too accomplished. Like, like the cruise is a rumor that's fun, but like, you know, yes, we know there are people out there that could nail these roles if they had an unlimited budget. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> But they're doing HBO, Brian, and it's not that they say it's not to say that they have a limited budget, but they got budget to do something great, to, to do something great and interesting enough for, to get one of these guys to do it. That is the hope. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Ninja Report. The show goes on.